ABC Eurasia. It's Maria here, and I am joined with Alexander Aurev from Payment Center. Welcome, Alexander. Thank you, Maria. Pleasure to meet you. It's so uh, great for me to be here. And uh, as you know, we cooperate with uh, Sigma for many years, almost since they start their uh, conference. We are um, platinum partner and for me every time is a big event for me personally to join the event and uh, meet our friends, our partnership and our new potential partnership. I'm very glad to hear that, Alexander. You were mentioning earlier that you are based here in Dubai. We've met a lot of different uh, people from your company. So you are representing Payment Center for your brand here in Dubai. What are you willing and what are you expecting to get out of our conference here for Sigma Eurasia this year? Yeah, it's a very good question, you know, uh, because when we prepare to the conference, we understand that we, uh, from one side, we had uh, exist existing uh, partner partners, our friends with that we, we cooperate with many years. But Anyway, we should develop our business and build our new uh, networking, our new cooperation with potential partners. That is why for us, uh, for our expectation from this uh, event, to meet our good friends and discuss what happened on the market already. Yeah, we already cooperate, we already work with them and build new cooperation with the new potential, new startups, new um, companies who also joined on this market because this market uh, growing fast growing well and for us um, most important to be in trend you know and understand market and cooperate and existing partners and build new cooperation and this is our expectation so the main focus is purely networking and building connections absolutely right um, so you were saying that this is another evolving market it's fast paced as well it's very fast paced let's talk a little bit more about your brand what you're doing and what's behind it you mainly focus on payments we have a lot of various different payments, um, upcoming payments. We focus on this as well during our conference. Give us some more information on what your brand is offering, what kind of services and products you are giving to your end users. Okay, yeah, uh, you uh, right that you already mentioned that we are focused on payments. Payment Center, our brand name, uh, is a payment service provider who provide to our merchants, to our partners, to our friends, a lot of types of payment methods. I mean, when when our partners connect to us as a one pipeline, yes, yeah, they get a lot of type of payment methods all over the world. It's uh, different, not only girls, I mean, uh, different countries, different parts of the world, but also different uh, payment methods. And this is very convenient for customer, convenient for merchants that, um, they make one integration with us and uh, get a lot of type of methods uh, to get money all over the world. This is our main focus and we are on the market more than 10 years and we are uh, evolute, develop with this market together. I mean, if uh, more than 10 years ago it was about only Visa and MasterCard, I mean, international payment system, yeah, you uh, make integrations with uh, banks who provide this acquiring uh, payments, uh, but right uh, now this is uh, a lot of more than, I don't know, about uh, more than 50 payment methods uh, all over the world. And because a lot of countries, they, to get independence, they develop their own local payment methods. And uh, of course, big company who work all over the world, not only, uh, for example, in Dubai or Malta or Europe uh, and Asia, they, of course, would like to mm, provide services for their customers in different countries, and sh they should to get ready to uh, get payments from different ways. If, for example, if in China it's WeChat and uh, something local system, in uh, Europe it could be, okay, Visa, MasterCard, or in Brazil it could be PIX system, et cetera, et cetera. And um, when you, as a merchant, provide to your customers uh, any convenient methods, of course your business grow fast because uh, for customers it's very good to, you know, that, uh, payment methods that he already uh, used to, ready to use, and no need to register and create any other payments. And we, are, as a payment service provider, preparing all this area for our merchant. I mean, we make every month um, 
10 d decades uh, integrations with uh, banks, with uh, some local payment system, with uh, local payment providers. Uh, we have a big IT team who making a lot of integrations month to month, every month. And uh, it helped us to be in the top of the market and provide best solutions for our customers. It's really interesting that you were localizing the payment methods according to um, the integrations of the, the, the countries you're visiting. Um, nowadays, localization is very important. Is it right to say that um, you have different target markets, different target audiences, and you are expanding globally? Yeah, you're absolutely right uh, that we are uh, expanding our business globally and it helped to us uh, grow. Moreover, uh, our merchants also expanding their business globally and we should to do it. It's, I mean, we don't have any other options if we would like to be with our merchants who also became during this uh, time also globally and they provide their services all over the world. We, as a payment system, also should uh, provide the same solutions course, all over the world. Of course, and you're facilitating this process for yeah, them. absolutely. Because you are the experts, they're coming to you, you're facilitating this whole payment processing system very well. Uh, moreover, you're right, sometimes, you know, uh, when we negotiate with our customers, with our partners, sometimes uh, we go to the market first, integrate it and prepare all necessary matters. And when we integrate it and analyze the market, we already provide to our merchant information about this market. I mean, uh, we are not providing uh, just payment methods. When we build these payment methods, we already provided to our merchants expertise about local market. Exactly, exactly. Another important factor that we should be mentioning in this interview is security. Um, tokenization is seen as something that um, is making payment methods more secure how are you targeting security when it comes to this? Someone new to the market would probably not know how to handle the secure aspect of payments. This is something that's very touchy subject. How are you handling this? As I can see, you know you uh, know our area very well because <laughs> you you you're just making very right questions. Um, okay, you know you're absolutely right that um, due to growing payment methods also grow some frauds and some uh, hackers attacks etc uh, and uh, of course we as a payment service provider we should work every day to increase our security system and you already mentioned tokenization i also I talk a little more about it and we also use for example uh, we try to implement ai ma machine lo learning machines uh, AI interface because it help us to mm, protect our merchants about any fraud attacks in because we are as a you know, front system, we are payment system, we are on the front with co connection with uh, customers of our merchants. Uh, that is why... So are you also handling the AML KYC processes? Um, K KYC usually making uh, merchants, but um, uh, increase automatic uh, protection out of uh, security system, yes, we are implemented to protect our customers uh, from fraud attacks. Yeah, so uh, you mentioned about tokenization, it's a very popular trend right now because you could uh, send a personal data, data not in transparent uh, transaction, but using cipher and uh, you protect end customer and customer data uh, and uh, it helps um, to, pro to protect about fraud attacks from uh, some hackers, I don't know, any other personals. And in other uh, way, from one is this about security, and from another way, it's also very interesting thing that it's uh, more convenient because uh, in uh, one time when you use data uh, card of your data, data of your card, sorry, uh, then you could use this card anytime, no need to enter uh, this data again. Uh, I mean, we uh, save this data, we secure this data, we use Cypher, and um, for example, if you, you, I believe you already use it from Apple Pay or, or you uh, just subscribing, you know, pay uh, in advance and every month you pay for um, Apple Music or something else. This is tokenization. When you uh, data card saving on the payment system and it could no need every time you enter data card. This is, this is why tokenization is so popular right now. Yes. I Convenient and secure. Uh -huh. Now, 
to close of the interview, what do you see? Where do you see your brand moving forward um, in the coming years, in the future? How do you see yourself expanding further? How do you see yourself keeping up with trends further? Uh, so, uh, first of all, of course, we strongly believe that our position globally will only increase, only improve, uh, because right now we already uh, open our local offices in LATAM area also, not only Europe and Asia that we already present here, yeah, and we are also in very interested in LATAM market. Um, so, uh, expand it globally first. Uh, the second one, of course, implement the all last necessary payment methods that uh, market uh, would like to use because we are also, you know, in trend and uh, provide the last uh, the um, options that uh, would like to get market. That is why uh, for us, we, um, I'm sure, will be expand globally and provide last technologies to our customers. I fully agree with that. We can't wait to see what's in store for Payment Center in the coming future. Alexander, thank you so much for joining us today and thank you for giving us this interview. Thank you so much, Marie.